Circuit of the round field. Uh, again, we're talking about Kernum. Uh, you got four nets. You got ten guys on a team. And I, I can't really get into too much detail without trying to point out exactly where the spots are on the mm -hmm. uh, on the field. But there are spots where you can use your feet and spots where you can use your hand and your feet. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it isn't it is an intriguing game. It uh, sounds very interesting. I played it a couple times and. I always look forward to coming back out and trying to play uh, when I can get off of work, and that rarely happens. <laughs> well, you are the uh, Bernie Perrant. Well, that's what that, that was the name that. Am I muted? No, you're good. You're good. Oh. Hit my uh, headphones thing. You good, Joe? No, no, no. No, no. no. Yep, maybe. No. Not back in. No. Not feeling it. Hold that. What the heck is going on? The twisting you're, you're doing doesn't seem to be working you very well. I had there for a second. Uh, there yeah. we go. Is it going now? Yeah, I hear you. All right, get a pen. I just don't hear me in the, in the head in the, in the microphone. Are you there now? <laughs> uh, what channel am I, bud? You are seven. Wow. That's kind of strange. But you can hear me, though. Yeah, we can hear you. All right. So you think it's going to be the LeBron show tonight? No. I don't I, you already know who, who's going to win MVP. KD. Yeah. No. Uh, you think KD is not going to win the MVP Steph race? Curry, man. Come on. Steph well, Curry. No, Steph, are you talking about actual MVP? Talking about the it? actual okay. MVP uh, race this NBA is season. Is Chris right? Paul playing? Yes, he is. Yep. He came back against the Sixers when they lost by 45. Lost by 45. Yes, that was a, that was a beating they gave us. And then they I don't know. I think it's going to be the LeBron show tonight. Tonight, I I think Steph Curry's going to break the record for most threes in that All-Star game. That'd be interesting. It's only six. and that He's hit yeah. more than six plenty of times in his career. Yeah, I don't know how. He's been in the league for what? You know, I'm going to pull this in front of you. This is not working behind. Just, just uh, move your chair up a little bit. There you go. Bring that around him. Uh, watch that. Don't pull that. Yank that cord, dude. It's all over. Yeah, I think Steph Curry is one of the better players in the league, even though he um, came up short in the three-point last night. He did night. come up short in the three-point shot. I don't know if you got a chance to watch any of it. Did you? Nah. Unplug me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redo, redo this wiring. I'm beating you as we speak. Joe is going to be leaving the booth for a couple seconds here. Excuse me. Uh, hold on a second, ladies and gentlemen. I'll hold on, Joe. Hold on, Joe. Hold on, Joe. Sean. Do you have it for Yeah. Okay. Well, we have the change. The change. No, no, that's at three. I oh, know. I just saw the kid walking through. I was like, wait, what time is that at? No, no, no. We're good. It's a good song. What are you talking about? Very good song. We're talking about how you need to go back to work. You guys are with really clock. Yeah, That's a ball. burn. <laughs> no, we were talking about Kronum. We were talking about the World Cup and how Belgium's winning the whole thing. The right. World Cup right. that no one knows about yet. FIFA, World Cup, Belgium, 2014. I don't see it happening. Ooh, man. How's it going? But, uh... Yes, so we have the front end. Yep. Again, we love visitors we to love the booth. Visitors to the booth. Love we visitors. love questions. If you guys want to call, call us now on call Skype. Up. Uh, Total.sports.live. No caps on that. Call us now. Uh, we're still trying to figure out the getting you guys the face on there. We did the audio. Um, so it'll be sort of like a like a phone call kind of deal. Um, it'll be pretty, be pretty great if someone gives us a phone call right now. Something, someone to bounce something off of. Uh, no, I cannot. Uh, I muted you. That's probably why. Yeah. 
There you go. Yep, we're in. Joe is back Knock in the hair. Yep. Back and better than ever. All right, we're just about to get in about 10 minutes away from the uh, Jameer King and Marcus Hammond show. Am I leaving now, Joe? Are you going to take over for that, or am I staying? No, no, you're staying, dude. I'm staying. Good luck with that. You're the MC. I'm the, the new MC. I'm just producing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the booth, Matt Rich Sweeney and Bryce Kelly, the other half of Kelly's Corner. <laughs> Matt, if you'll get this, Sean thinks that Seth Curry is going to win the MVP race this year. No, 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 no. I thought, no, 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 no. I thought Joe was talking about the All Star Game MVP. All right. No, dude. I was thinking, it's either. Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving? Kyrie Irving's a bomb. Am I even on? Oh, you're on, dude. You're on. Kyrie Irving's a bomb. No, he's not. Can you not hear us? That's an interesting opinion to have. Then why are you not on? Why are you complaining for? You're good, right? Fuzzy. You're fuzzy? It's going like, I thought you were Bryce. That's cool. Can you guys hear me? I yeah, we're good. I can't hear anything right now. Again, our, uh, you guys are watching us on our stream. That's cool. Sean, can you hear me? I'm not right. Yeah. Yes, we I can. can. Okay, cool. I'm okay. not sure. Joe, is uh, this is on the actual radio station right now. It's what? Not, it's not on not yet. We're right, never mind. You just, you're just, you're just, you're just We're watching us. Sean's just a liar, as you will all say. What are you talking about? Just, you tell I'm people it's on the radio. Not, no, no, no. He's what? been known for lying often. Uh. Well, Joe's starting us off early here. Getting it. Getting that football ready to go. He's not gonna kill this. this is a great song going on. Bryce, can you hear this? No, I still can't hear you. Marcus Hammond is here. Yep. In the building right he now. He's looking. Wanna go do other stuff. Bye. Bryce is out. And we're getting ready for the Marcus Hammond Jameer King show. Marcus is in the building waiting to be called on to come on the show. Joe Sweeney is trying to figure everything out. Fixing up a couple cords here and there. Matt, what is your take on curling? Curling? Mm -hmm. The Olympic sport of curling. I absolutely love it. I think it's the greatest sport ever invented. I enjoy it sometimes. I really enjoy the, the uh, Russian women's team. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I haven't had a real chance to look at it, Joe. Uh... What's your take on curling? What's your take on curling? Hold on, hold on. You're gonna get, you're gonna get in the booth. Yep. You're in the booth. The booth walk with Matt McSweeney. Hey guys. McSweeney's in. Um, What's okay. your take on curling here, buddy? Curling. Um, I think curling is top five Olympic sports behind uh. um, ice dancing <laughs> and uh, Olympic, mm -hmm. Olympic, Olympic fanfare. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, we gotta talk about curling. We gotta be. Olympic. We gotta get the Olympics. We gotta get, we gotta get the Olympic we gotta so. Never thought I'd be talking about curling with a vacuum in my hand, but you know, hey. You never know where life's gonna throw you, right? Sometimes you gotta do I mean, what you gotta that's do. That's probably the best example I can give. I really think the Texans should pick Johnny Manziel first overall, but. Mm. I still I think that, I still I, think I, the Eagles should treat Nick Foles and their first round pick to, for that number one pick. I disagree and with you. You did get Johnny football. Nah, I mean we're the only ones to think that, but like, yeah, I definitely do think that should happen. Why I think, not? I think Nick Foles. He didn't convince me at first, but now I've uh, I've been convinced that he is a starter for the rest of the. Yeah, uh, but I'm convinced he just took you as far as he can. The first round of the playoffs. Divisional round. That's as far as he gets. He gets lucky with a good defense in the NFC Championship where he chokes at home. That's interesting. It. That's an interesting take. Hey, I don't even think you can't even go off on that though. I think their defense is up and coming. I think I think that's something that I I believe. Uh, I, I think, oh wow! I think uh -huh. we need. Oh, 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 that's oh big my. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> do what you gotta do, Robbie. Man. Rob Rob's is in the building. Visiting the booth. He's back. He is here. He's just. Rob's <laughs> corner. <laughs> Rob's, Robbie Rob is here. He's here in the flesh. He might be the best person to have on the on the show. He brings such insight. He does. He does bring insight. Uh, Rob, what's your take on uh, LeBron? LeBron. Yeah, let's what, what is your take on LeBron? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I got one question for Rob real quick. 
Hey what? guys, I just got off the jet. I'm back <laughs> and uh, ready to give you the report. Uh, what's your take on curling? Uh, <laughs> Alright, we got the bronze, right? <laughs> USA. That's all he needs to know. <laughs> USA. Three letters. Alright, so what's your take on LeBron James? Okay. Now, when it comes to LeBron James, you, know, we got, we have to call you got a minute and a half, Rob. A minute and a half, Rob. That's way too much time. Now, <laughs> let's MVP, MVP of the league, mm. MVP of the finals, MVP of the All Star game. Come on, guys! I, I get that. Are talking about the All Star game you, yet? We did. We talked about the All Star game. We talked about the All Star game. Talking about LeBron yet in the All Star game? No. Do you think was he even win at All Star game? Was he even at All Star? Uh, <laughs> Come on! Doesn't matter. We're just talking about it. Come on, dude. Rob, what do you think? Do you think LeBron's gonna win the MVP race? Uh, honestly, no. Yeah. No, you think Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant? Kevin Durant has Durant to get it. Kevin Durant. Oh, look at Bryce. He's Rob, back. Rob. Yo, B. Rice. Rob, coming live from Miami, bringing his report. Yeah. And I'm um, off. And he's Bryce. gone. Bryce is back, and he's going to be out soon. Just remember. <laughs> what is this? Just remember, we got to change over in about 20, 25 minutes. Very, very shortly. In fact, Sean, I, I believe I'm getting off in about a minute and a half. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck. You guys minute. might have to take it by yourself. If Why? I, if this, if this, uh, I'm doing a show with Marcus and uh, Jameer. On here? Yeah. Awesome. About yeah. what? Next you Saturday, gotta, maybe. You got to tune in to listen. You got to tune in. You got to listen in. We can in. just tell you right off but the bat. Since I might be stuck well, then here. I don't know if I want to tune in or not. I, I can tell you that it might be about this. What's it this? might be about that. Can you explain it for me? No. Uh, if you read the I'm card. Not, they're going to explain it. We're asking questions. I'm a ver- oh, okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I'm going to give you that just in case I'm stuck. Yep. Joe is getting ready to bring in Marcus Hammond. Let's get out of here. It was nice being in the booth. All right, man. Take it easy, buddy. So, so yeah, Bryce is in. I'm going to go. Bryce is out. Oh, man, I'm out. I'll just pop out. Oh, it- <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'm Let's eating you, Joe. I'm eating you. It's all good. Bye. All right, everybody's left. I'm waiting in patiently for... Uh, Marcus and Jameer, I'm going to take a quick one minute break and we'll be right back with the Jameer Kane and Marcus Hammond show from WTSL 103.1 live from the Virtua Total Turf Experience Indoor and Outdoor Sports Complex. Virtue of Total Turf Experience Indoor Sports Complex. You're listening to Total Sports Live. 103 WTSL Total Sports Live presents Live from the Turf with Jerry McGuff and Andy Logan. Let's go inside the Virtua Total Turf Experience Indoor Sports Complex for Live from the Turf. Here's Jerry McGuff and Andy Logar.
So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Marcus Hammond Next Level Greats Football Show, right here from the Total Surf Experience Indoor and Outdoor Sports Complex. Here's your host, Sean Kelly and Marcus Hammond. All right, thank you, Joe. Welcome, Marcus. Thanks for having me. So, you're starting up next level here at Total Turf Experience. Um, just a quick, uh, brief bio. Uh, where'd you go to school? I graduated from Sterling High School, class of 2003. And then I ended up playing college ball down at North Carolina A&T, okay. which is in Greensboro, North Carolina. Um, during the MEAC, Division One AA. And moved back up to New Jersey in 2009. So I got started with this in 2012. I always tell everyone by accident because my brother was coaching. He wanted me to help out one of the kids on his team. And the next thing you know, another parent wanted help, another parent wanted help. And it kind of just grown, has grown since then. That's pretty cool. I mean, what are you trying to, uh, I mean, I've seen you with your, uh, you got a lot of kids every week. Um, are you trying to help? How much do you think this can grow uh, from being here at uh, Total Turf? Um, I, it's it's going to blow up, but it's going to blow up in a great way because a lot of the kids are taking things into consideration that they didn't before, making sure their, their grades are where they need to be, um, proper eating habits, nutrition, exercise in the right way. All that stuff goes into being a quality football player. The facilities that you have here at Total Turf are phenomenal. They allow us to do everything all under one roof. So the more we grow, I mean, this is our first off season here. So the more we grow, um, you guys are going to have to have a strict football <laughs> area. Just, I mean, because South Jersey is a hotbed. And if you look on the NFL rosters and the college rosters, it's, you know, there's players from South Jersey on maybe 50 different college rosters. But if you look at which high schools they come from, it's, it's the more established programs. And a lot of our kids come from programs that don't take football as seriously. And you know they're looking for an extra edge to compete with the Timber Creeks and the Easterns and the St. Joe's Hamiltons and that kind of stuff. So um, it's all pretty cool though. No, I know. We enjoy having you here, definitely. Um, it's a new aspect of Total Turf that I, when I started here, uh, we didn't have. So, definitely looking forward to seeing how your program grows and looking into the future. Let's talk about some of the other guys that he has with uh, with him on the next level as far as the uh, the chain of command goes. Um, there's new. There's no true chain of command. We all provide different aspects. There's myself. I work with quarterbacks. There's Preston Brown, who played wide receiver at Tulane University. He graduated from Woodrow Wilson High School in 2003. I don't know if you guys are familiar with football, but they had a they had a bomb squad. You know, Turk McBride's and still in the NFL, and they might have had 15 guys go Division One from his team. And the other person is Aaron Beasley. You guys are familiar with football. Aaron has had a very very successful career in the NFL. He got wind of what we're doing, and he pretty much backed me into a corner and said, look, man, I'm helping you out. I don't care what you say. And it's been all she wrote since then. You know, Aaron's been a big help just because if you look at the three of us, we, we come from three completely different backgrounds with regards to football. Take myself, for example. I was a walk-on at a Division One AA school. I right? didn't have many opportunities coming out of high school. Look at Preston. Preston had 40-plus scholarship offers. And then you look at Aaron, Aaron had one. Now, because of football, I'm able to have a career in a different environment that I wasn't able to have. Preston went from having 40 scholarship offers to not making it in the NFL. And now because of that, he, it, that drives him more to want to help other kids based off of his experiences. If you look at Aaron, Aaron had one scholarship offer and made the most out of it and literally ended up having a, a huge career in the NFL. So if you take the three of our experiences and put them together, and now we can help build kids from an overall perspective, you know, because Aaron's like, look, you got to do this, that, and the third to get to the NFL. I'm like, look, man, you got to do this, that, and the third to become a successful engineer or to become a doctor or to become a lawyer. Um, and, you know, Preston's real, real, real big on giving back to the community. A lot of our kids come from Camden. 
and from a national perspective, when you think of Camden, New Jersey, automatically it's negative. Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to show kids, look, you know, you, you are what you make it. If someone has a negative connotation towards you, you know, you can either be the stereotype or you can go above it by having great grades, by being a leader on and off the field, you know, by helping a younger kid, sort of mentoring someone because Let's face it, some of these guys that are getting highly recruited, people look up to them. You know, when one of our kids was here at the Beast of the East, a group of maybe 15 younger kids ran up to him asking for his autograph. You know, so they do they do look up to the kids, man. But it's, uh, so it's the three of us right now. We, we deal with a few other guys when it comes to camps, but as far as a weekly basis, the three of us are here at Total Turf three times a week for now, and then it'll probably be three to five times a week in the spring and just keep it going all year long. Sure. Before we bring on uh, Mr. King, let's talk a little bit about what you got coming up with the 7-on-7. Seven seven. Okay. Get that going and then what you have forecasted out into the summer. Absolutely. Um, one of our, our big hits was 7-on-7. Seven seven. Last year, we didn't win any tournaments. You know, we went to tournaments. Some, some tournaments, we were winless. But what happened was some of our guys started making a name for themselves. You know, Irvin Charles literally went from nothing to one of the best receivers in the country because every tournament that he competed in, no one was able to cover him. And he was just a physical presence. You know, Tyree Rogers had the same type of type of um, you know rise. Benny Walls, a lot of those guys. So now this year, seven on seven is is a lot. It's a lot like AAU basketball. You know, you go to these tournaments, you compete against teams from different areas. There's scouts there. You end up getting ranked and that kind of stuff. So our travel seven on seven team will have a minimum of three teams this year. Okay. And so of the people that we know, I mean the trial's not until March, but of the people that we know so far, we, we have three of the top 20 ranked players in the state okay. that are gonna be on our team. Uh, probably 15 guys that have Division I next scholarship offers already. Um, probably 30 guys that are getting serious looks. So it's becoming a huge thing. Um, but with South Jersey, some schools do not like the travel seven on seven, which is good because it helps team unity and you know the cohesiveness and that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do here at Total Turf is we're going to have an indoor league in which high school teams can come and participate uh, on a regular basis, and that's going to run from March 30th through June. And I'm not sure what sports you guys are familiar with, but basketball does this all the time, and they have spring leagues, they have summer leagues, and which the teams will come and compete. So we're going to do the same thing with 7-on-7 seven seven here. So in addition to the travel team, we will have the Spring League, which I think so far we have 16 teams interested. And that will springboard us into the summer season. The summer season, most of the guys will be back with their high school teams and doing you know, summer conditioning and that kind of stuff. But we'll also have a summer camp here at Total Turf on July 12th. That summer camp is going to be players from all over. It's going to be open to middle school players. And just like Aaron, you know, there'll be a lot of former college players, a lot of former NFL players that ultimately want to give back. Our summer camp is heavy, heavy, heavy instruction. And some of the guys laugh because last spring I told them if someone's tying their shoe, I want you to coach them how to tie their shoe correctly. Like I wanted 100% instructional. And that's what these guys are all about. That's extreme. It's, it's cool, man. It's cool because, you know, <laughs> an analogy is, right, if you have a high school coach and he might have played offensive line or defensive line or linebacker at a really high level, he might not have the same kind of attention to detail to teach a quarterback or to teach a defensive back. So that's a different aspect that we're able to provide these guys. And on a bigger scale, we, you know, the Northeast has a tough time competing with Florida and Georgia and Texas and Mississippi because they play football year round. Mm -hmm. You look at this facility that we have in front of us, and that's what we're going to be able to do is play football and change the football year round. And we're going to have a lot of live events going here with, with Marcus and the crew. Um, we're going to take a short break. We're going to get Jameer King up in here. And you're listening to WTSL 103.1 FM. Live from the Total Turf Experience Indoor and Outdoor Sports Complex. We'll be right back. Total 
Sportsfly Radio 1031 FM WTSL. Join us back here next week for another edition of Live from the Turf from inside the virtual Total Turf Experience Indoor Sports Complex here in Pittsburgh. Hey, Skippy, do you know what you're listening to? You're listening to Total Sports Live on demand. Thank you. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're doing by uh, Marcus Hayden and Jameer King. Jameer, welcome to the, to the studio, sort of. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good. So Jamir is one of our top players. He's a younger guy, and he got on board with us last year, and we kind of forced him to stick around. And if he if he keeps his grades where he is, he would easily be one of the top prospects in the state for his class, um, and could potentially end up at an Ivy League school if he chooses to. So Jamir, thank you for joining us, and uh, give us a little bit of background of you. Where do you go to school? What position do you play? You know, what, what's your favorite thing that you love about football? You know, who are you? Uh, my name is Jamir King. I go to Collinsville High School. I play wing back, in, uh, corner. My favorite uh, thing about football is just a team sport, coming together, bond with your boys, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Okay. Well, you know. Have you had any thought as far as what you want to do in college? You know, what you want to major in, or are you not that far ahead yet? Nah, I never thought about anything like that. Well, it's heading that way. So, you know, what do you like doing in your free time other than hanging with your boys? You know, what's your favorite subject? History. History. Do you think you'd like to major in history when, when you get to the next level? Possibility. Possibility? Okay. All right. Well... If you can, just give people a quick rundown on your experiences as far as what you've done with our program, um, different trips that we've taken, different training, uh, seven on seven. Uh, what's your What's your perspective? Uh, I like it a lot. We go to different colleges, come here, train every week, put the work in. Uh, I don't know. I just like it. <laughs> okay. Well. What John is referring to is during the fall, we, we, we take unofficial, unofficial visits and we try to, you know, we'll carpool and end up going to some of the universities that are interested in us. This past fall, we ended up going to Rutgers University, Boston College, Pittsburgh, and West Virginia. We went to Rutgers multiple times. Um, and we'll continue to do that this spring. We have a couple trips lined up for some prospect camps and for some seven on seven tournaments um so other than football and history you know what do you like to do in your free time i know a lot of young kids like competing on xbox coach beasley gave me a a, a challenge he said he doesn't think that any of the kids in our program can compete with him in madden what do you feel about that 
Take his challenge. He can play any time. Take him. <laughs> this is a guy that knows football in and out, man. He made a living playing football. You think you can handle him on the sticks? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, man. Well, I appreciate you coming to check us out. And we're going to go ahead and get ready for this workout here at 3 o'clock. Um, but anything you want people to know, I mean, there might be college coaches listening right now. Your girlfriend might be listening right now. Is there anything that you want people to know about Jamir King? Not, not really. Nothing I'm, really? I'm hungry. I'm here to eat. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, there's a cafe right there, man. We can feed you. <laughs> nah, but I appreciate you for coming out, man. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you, Jamir. Uh, appreciate you guys both coming on, Marcus, Jameer. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy your workout today. Uh, and then you're here Fridays and Sundays, Marcus, so we'll be sure to get you back on, Jameer. You're welcome anytime. Uh, but uh, that'll, that'll be it for the Jameer, Ken, and Marcus Hammond show. Uh, I'm Sean Kelly, and uh, we will see you on the other side. Thanks, Sean. Take it easy. Sports Live Radio, 103.1 FM, WTSL. Join us back here next week for another edition of Live from the Turf. From inside the virtual Total Turf Experience Indoor Sports Complex here in Pittman, New Jersey. You've been listening to Total Sports Live.